Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we are going to talk about the best bucket bolt-on brackets, say that three times fast, on the market today. These brackets are going to open up the versatility of your bucket. They're going to solve a bad problem that John Deere has with their standard duty buckets. And the best part about it, you're going to get 5% off with code GWT. So stick around. And I gotta mention it, Bora Wheel Spacers. Proud to be sponsored by these guys, made in the USA, one to six inches in width, steel or aluminum. You order from Bora, they're gonna custom make them to fit your machine, solving that stability solution. If you're feeling tippy side to side, look to Bora. And if you like what you see here, you enjoyed the video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. That would really help me out. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for something cool for your tractor, head on over to goodworkstractors.com. If you are a John Deere owner, you gotta love what you see right in front of you. This is just a, a full assortment of what you can add onto your bucket. You're gonna have to pay close attention to the design. Notice this 60 degree bend here, a nice leading edge. See that little American flag? These things are made in the US. In fact, less than an hour away from me here in Southwest Michigan, so that's pretty cool too. Now, JU Fabworks has all sorts of stuff you can mix and match, put something in the middle, put something on the outside. Make your own configuration the way that you want it. We're gonna come back to that, but first I gotta tell you the problem that this solves because John Deere has a serious bucket design problem, in my opinion. Let's go take a closer look. So first thing we need to do is address the problem that John Deere has, and you're staring at it right here. It's a standard duty bucket. They make them for your 1025s, your two series, your three series, your four series. Now this particular bucket came off of a John Deere four series. I feel like it's one of the weakest parts of the John Deere design overall because this is a very thin steel. I can tell you what, Kubota sure doesn't have to deal with this issue, but they do have a heavy duty version that's gonna solve this problem. But the problem is if you don't get it up front when the tractor's purchased brand new, it's gonna be very, very costly to upgrade to that bucket down the road. So John Deere's standard duty bucket design, what you see here is gonna have the same steel thickness, just in nominal dimensions. So your 1025s and your two series are typically gonna be around the 51, 53 inch mark. You get to your three series where the 61 inch is gonna be the most prevalent. And then you're gonna to get to a 73 inch nominal that's on the four series bucket. So typically on the smaller machines, your one series, two series, you're not really gonna ever see this kind of an issue unless somebody's just really abusing the heck out of their bucket. But it is gonna be a lot more prevalent once you get to the three series and certainly the four series. There's no reinforcement up here. And so you can do one of two things. So this one here probably happened because something was wrapped around it like a chain and it was used for pulling, which I get it. You're gonna use your bucket for all sorts of things when it calls for it. The other type of common damage is actually reverse. So not indenting it down, but it's gonna be raised up. And so we recently did a video uh, just down the road that way actually at Mr. Eric Perry's house. And he was actually having his bucket rolled all the way forward and caught this top lip right on a stump. And so as he was kind of back dragging, he accidentally caught the top lip and it put a big bow up top here. So without any kind of reinforcement along this entire top channel, it's pretty easy to see how that can get damaged. So typically damage like this is really gonna be just cosmetic for the most part. Anytime I've ever seen it, it hasn't really been detrimental to the use of the bucket. The one thing you wanna be aware of though is if you're near one of these attachment points for your loader brackets, the carrier brackets, because if the damage does occur in this general area and it's too significant, I suppose there is a chance that it could tweak how this is gonna to attach to your loader and therefore that could potentially impact the leading edge or the digging edge down below. If you're trying to keep a nice even cut or even scrape, it could potentially make that teeter-totter just a little bit. So sitting right next to this damaged bucket, we have a heavy duty bucket that's offered by John Deere. This came in, I think it was on my 4066R. It's just been sitting out here. I don't really use a bucket all that often to be honest with you, but you can see, well, maybe you can't see. It could be hard to tell the differences, but you're gonna have a reinforced uh, double wall plate on the top. You're gonna have reinforced end plates. It's gonna be a thicker steel on the bottom plate. Also, it's pre-drilled for a cutting edge. So if you're in the market and shopping for a new tractor, this is really one of those places that I feel like it's a, a wise investment to put the extra two or 300 bucks in towards this heavy duty bucket. I know they make a 61, I know they make a 73. For you one and two series owners, it gets borderline if you even need it, and I don't know if they make one. Occasionally, I do see the two series loaders that have some damage on the buckets, um, but that's kind of marginal, you know? So if you can get it and it makes sense, it's one of those areas that's a lot cheaper to do up front than learn the hard way down the road. So let's say you already have a tractor, you just need a new bucket, maybe yours is worn out, or maybe your tractor didn't come with a bucket. 
we can help you with that. So we're an HLA dealer. We ship all over the country, not just buckets, but all their attachments. Their snow pushers are one of the most popular items that we sell, hands down. They make really high quality equipment and they have a plethora of buckets. If you take a look, their standard duty compact tractor bucket is good for a skid steer quick attach or a John Deere quick attach. You can see it almost looks as heavy duty as the John Deere heavy duty bucket, but this is just their standard compact bucket. They only get bigger and better from there. They're gonna have many high volume bucket operations and varying widths and configurations. So again, skid steer quick attach, John Deere quick attach, global, custom mounts, you name it. They even have four in one buckets for you skid steer owners, for your large utility tractor owners the one thing that I am missing in my lineup is a good four-in-one bucket solution for small tractors like your 1025s your 2 series your 3 series so if you guys know of a good fabricator out there a good manufacturer that makes these or maybe you are a fabricator and manufacturer looking to spread the word I'd love to talk to you guys and get that gap filled in my lineup and of course if you're looking for a mini bucket a poor man's backhoe a stump bucket, we can help you with that too. We ship these all over the country. These actually ship UPS ground right to your front door. Check out the stump wrecker, my own design, made in America at goodworkstractors.com. So like I said, these are made here in the USA, right here in Southwest Michigan. So Jeff was kind enough to drop off a wide assortment like what you see here. And most of them are gonna have some combination of these hooks or handles or D-rings on them. So there's a variety of combinations that he has available. You can get them on one plate. Maybe you need to get a couple different plates. You want them on the outside or in the middle. The point is you have choices. You have a couple options for your center plates as well. And most of those are gonna include a two inch receiver and then some grab hooks, the toe handles or the D-rings that you see, some combination of those as well. Another really cool option is gonna be what you see here. This actually is designed to go on the back side of the bucket. So the top of the bucket, the back of the bucket, you can actually reverse it if you want to and mount it to 180 degrees different. But you typically are gonna get a pair of these. Any of those smaller ones, you're typically gonna get a pair, one to put on either end with one of those bigger plates in the middle, or you can just get the outers or just the middle. It's up to you. So these are all gonna start off with a quarter inch thick steel plate. You're gonna see the leading edge that's on there as well, bent to 60 degrees, which is the approximate angle. For, to match the John Deere bucket as well. They're also gonna be powder coated in John Deere green and they are gonna include the corresponding hardware needed to install them. If you do have one of those heavy duty buckets that we talked about, make sure you let Jeff know because there are gonna be longer bolts that are required to get through both pieces of material. So I wanna make sure you know you buy this directly from JU Fab Works, they're gonna ship it direct. The way you can save is you enter code GWT, you're gonna get 5% off of your order, I'm gonna get my commission, it's a win-win situation. Alrighty guys, we're to get to the install and I'm telling you if you're looking for a little bit of confidence if I can do it so can you so stick around see how it goes so this is kind of the setup I think I'm gonna go with right here it's it's good to have too many options but sometimes you wonder if you're making the right decision it's probably you don't want to overthink it I guess let me put it that way but you can see the real benefit here of this double layer quarter inch thickness steel right on top that's going to provide that rigidity that extra strength especially in the most vulnerable location and then you have these other options you can see how they're located out on the furthermost edges kind of right above your connection points for the loader arms as well I like that as a point of strength for these hooks in particular
Okay, so we have our main bracket installed. This was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I did start with a fresh drill bit, went to Ace Hardware around the corner, just got a multi-purpose bit. Uh, we found that drilling on the low or the slower setting was actually a lot more effective than drilling on the high speed setting. Um, I wouldn't have thought that, but it proved to be true. Make sure you have your drill battery charged up, but besides that, in a fresh drill bit, it doesn't get much easier. Alrighty guys, we just got done with the installation of these various bucket brackets from JU Fabworks. Easy to do, includes all the hardware. You probably have it done, what we saw here, an hour or so worth of time. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's so easy, even your, your brother could do it. Again, I want to reiterate, this is part of the GWT 5% off discount club. You order direct from JU Fabworks, there will be a link down below in the description of the video. We're also going to put this listing right on our website, so if you follow through there, click on it, it takes you right to their website, you buy from them. And while you're at the website, make sure you check out anything else you want for your tractor or other members of that GWT 5% discount club. So I got to say, between the brackets and the tooth bar, this bucket is dialed in now. So again, that tooth bar as well. Heavy hitch, you order from them, another member of the 5% Discount Club. Hey, I hope you found this video to be enjoyable. If you did, I would appreciate a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And as always, thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.